In this problem, we are given a function x times x minus 2 times x plus 2. We're asked to find its first and second derivative, as well as the domains of each of those functions. We'll start by finding this function's domain. And we should find that there's no reason to restrict the domain, because there's nothing in the denominator that would cause it to go to infinity or negative infinity. And there are no other functions within it that have restricted domains. So we are free to use all real numbers. Let's go ahead and find the first derivative. Actually, before we do that, it would help us if we multiply this out. We could use the power rule several times, but we find it's much easier to simply multiply this first and then take the derivative. So we'll distribute this x. We get x squared minus 2x. And then we can multiply this out further by foiling, if you will. x squared times x, x to the third, x squared times 2, is x squared, minus 2x times x is minus 2x squared, and then minus 2x times 2 is minus 4x. Well, we see that these two cancel, those, and what we're left with is x cubed minus 4x. Okay. So now we'll find the first derivative. We have no coefficient out front, so we just take down the exponent and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So we get 3x squared for our first term. And then minus 4. This implied that this is x to the first power, so if we track 1 from that, we get x to the zeroth power, which is simply 1. So all we're left with is minus 4. Once again, we find that there's no reason to restrict the domain. So this will also be all real numbers. So we'll go ahead and take the second derivative. Keep the same coefficient, 3, multiply by the original exponent, which is 2. And then subtract 1 from the exponent, so it's just 1, we'll leave it as that. And as we know, the derivative of a constant just goes to 0. So all we are left with for our second derivative is 6x. And once again, we find no reason to restrict the domain. So the domains, each of these functions are all real numbers. We have our first derivative here, 3x squared minus 4 and our second derivative here, 6x. That's our final answer.